Hi, and thank you for choosing the module 010 basic level um, during this um, uh, part of, 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 of the course. Uh, we will present you the, um, the example of the smart grid, uh, the method, methods of controlling the smart city last mile networks. Um, okay, so uh, for the smart grid controlling, uh, we can use both methods, while the wired, uh, either wired or wireless. For the wire method, is called. Uh, we're using the PLC standard. Uh, this is uh, the PLC standard. Um, this is an abbreviation for the power line communication, and it was really it was developed really long time ago, um, which is 19th century. Right now, it has been uh, well reused, I would say. Um, Okay, so on the basis of the PLC standard, uh, the prime lines uh, created the, the, the prime standard. Uh, what is the prime standard? Well, the prime version dot, uh, well, version 1.3.6 standard is the power line intelligent metering evolution, and it aims for the true open standardization um, across the device chipsets, uh, the, across the metering devices, uh, across the collectors, and the layers. Well, the Prime is supported and maintenance by the Prime Alliance. Um, okay, so here you can see the Prime 1.3.6 stack, and we have uh, th uh, we, we can find the three layers: the convergence layer, it's called CL; the media access control layer, called MAC; the physical layer, called PHY. <coughs> the convergence layer is responsible for adopting several specific services from uh, upper um, um, from upper upper layer uh, upper layers um, media access control layer can be uh, managed and it's managed by uh, mac layer management entity mlme and the physical layer also can be managed it can be managed by the phy layer management entity called plme those two create so called the management plane uh, here you can see the bandwidth uh, that has been uh, allocated for the prime. The bandwidth is 47.313 uh, kilohertz, and it's allocated in the A band uh, between 42 and 88, 89 kilohertz. Uh, the MAC layer uh, has um, two very interesting functions. Well, the MAC layer, first of all, uh, can create you uh, sub-networks. Uh, to do so, it, uh, it distinguishes two uh, functional nodes. Those, no those types of nodes are called the base node and the service node. So what is the base node? The base node is the root of the tree structure and it manages the, the sub-network, uh, resources and the connections uh, in the sub-network. Um, the uh, for the one subnetwork, there the can be existing only one base node. While the service node is, is treated more like a leaf or a, or a branch point of the tree structure. Um, they're, of course, initially disconnected and they need to go through the registration process to be connected to the tree. Um, so the, the service nodes has, uh, have two major functions. Uh, first of all, it's just the keeping connectivity. Uh, it, well, as, 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 as it's called the terminal function, and the switching other nodes data to propagate the connectivity, so it can be also a switch. Uh, of course, there are some pros and cons of using the concept of, of uh, wire uh, communications. The pros here are as follows: non-propriety open system architecture. Um, well, we need all, all we need is just uh, electric electricity wire uh, to 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 implement the PLC. Allows for low cost infrastructure in competitive market environment. Again, we don't need any additional infrastructure for doing so. Uh, provide flexible modulation con um, constellation and subcarrier management, uh, which is the uh, this functionality is is, is being. Uh, implemented by the OFDM, OFDM modulation, um, this sub-carrying, uh, creating the sub-carriers. 
um, offers a high-speed communication network uh, beyond metering applications, which means that it can be also a carrier of your internet at your home. Um, and of course, this architecture, uh, base node, repeater, and a service node, uh, which creates a branch uh, with the root, with the repeater, which means the, 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 the repeating um, node for amplification and, and uh, for the reamplification and uh, uh, <clears throat> the re well the, the, the upgrading upgrading of the signal and the service node uh, which is uh, the uh, leaf of the of the subnetwork which uh, we we discussed it a little bit earlier the cons here uh, of the usage of this uh, technology are uh, basically two uh, well the first one is when you plug in the electricity device that mismatch uh, it can cause the noise in your uh, in your circuit um, well this will 100% affect the PLC transmission uh, and in well in low voltage network there should be separate transmission channel to uh, to uh, uh, well, to provide better reliability, okay? If, it, if it's in a one channel, uh, then can, that can, that, the, the, the transmission can uh, have some, some problems. So it is, um, it is uh, the best practice is just to have a two separate uh, a, a transmission, uh, to separate transmission channel for the PLC. Okay, so that's all. Um, thank you for watching and uh, join the second video about the wireless. Thanks, bye-bye.